now I'm going to cover uh, using the same uh, data scrapping activity and I'm going to cover how to extract the uh, data table. So in the previous session I covered how to extract the similar pattern data. Now I'm going to cover how to extract data table. So here in my browser I have a data table here okay which is uh, some India, India populations okay. So there is an, a table. So I'm going back to studio and I'm going to create a one more sequence that is extract data table. Extract data table and click create. Okay. And use the same data scrapping. And uh, once you click the uh, data scrapping uh, option and you will get this window. Okay. You can move it uh, to the corner and now click on next and just move your see now if you are you know uh, moving your cursor it's you know highlighting lot of places okay now i want to extract this particular table okay so which means so it's highlighting the entire table or else you can select you no know, like this or else you can select any one of the cell here okay any one of the cell so you, once you click this any one of the cell and if it is a data table, which means if it is a data table, uh, so when you no know, uh, the website, you know, the website, uh, the developer who created the website, and if they done it this this format as a data table, and you may get this pop up. Okay, hey, you selected a table cell. Would you like to extract the data from the whole data table? Yeah, yes. Then click on yes then immediately you will get this result okay uh, the uh, preview result uh, your uh, india historical population data and uh, then here uh, and here the sorry here the population and here the growth rate okay so then if you confirm this is your data and you can click finish so guys here you see here there is a uh, india then followed by historical population data but actually here you see um india historical population data is a common title but followed by year then followed by population then followed by growth rate the entire thing uh, no um, came as uh, title okay that i will tell you in the modern how to customize everything in the modern activity but in the classic it is like this only then click on finish and then it, it's it's asking us uh, is data spanning multiple pages here there is no multiple pages and all so only single page so you can click no okay that's it done okay so now uh, i'm going to uh, give uh, an excel path so open it and just uh, create a new excel um, go here and uh, click on microsoft excel so dt something table okay then go here and uh, go to activities use right range okay right range and drag and drop right range and uh, so select your uh, workbook and add your sheet name and call your data table okay so i think that is a extract data table okay extract data table now uh, I have a website here and I have a studio here okay and let's run this workflow click on run file so it's extracted the entire thing is done let's uh, see uh, the result in the project panel refresh and go to DT table so see here uh, you can see the year and population and the growth rate so here there is no title and because uh, we didn't uh, know uh, check this uh, this add it is if you click on add it is uh, on the particular right range uh, workbook activity you will get header also okay and that's all about uh, the extract I mean data scrapping so we covered using this data scrapping option and we, co we covered how to extract the similar format of uh, data from the website and we covered how to extract data table format uh, from a website okay can you try this guys?